Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see the data processing VIP model. Quickly I just set the order set. This water set delineation were already done in our first video. Kindly check the resolution of the DM. Set three seconds, and if you want, uh, make the elevation bands because the default data will be a climate satellite data and this first check the resolution so 3 second 15 second or just select the 3 seconds it's a 90 meter dim this is a uh, very minimum value in a VIP model and if you want to take the elevation bands otherwise you can skip it create land cover branches and then ok I go and just click on the basin area basin I just open the created a single basin and just reduce uh, size Okay. If you want another sub basin, just create here basin one. Oh. I'll come out from the catchment delineation mode uh, here we're going to focus only the data processing after catchment delineation just download the uh, dim and other data go to catchment delineation mode here the option is uh, download all dim data inside area boundaries it's a one time process once the data downloaded and stored in our system we can utilize any time for the particular basin during the first time where you are starting with basin and data downloading you have to connect with the internet after that you no need any internet connection for working within that particular basin if you want to go for other basin again you need a internet connection to download the DM and other climate data after downloading the data I'll go back to the schematic mode before that kindly check the year and the general the VIP default data will be available only 1948 to 2010 set as um, June now the basin and sub basin is there for that the default data will be downloaded here the basin land use and the sub basin land use I unselected that uh, elevation band if you have the large area which have more elevation difference you have to make a different elevation bands for different climate data the climate 
so precipitation so precipitation data and the temperature and speed this basic data are directly downloaded from the Princeton server if you want to add more details or more melting albedo melting point you can add now I skipping this some basic thing needed is precipitation temperature wind speed that's all like that the submission also have the data so if you don't want to use this default data which is downloaded from the Princeton server you can edit it you can change the value but you have to uh, tally with overall catchment area ok the same like that we can change the precipitation data also just click on this go to the read from file wizard if you have the uh, climate data as excel file you can click and you can import the data you can browse select the data these two are the climate data which is downloaded previously this of location wherever your VIP folder is there it will be downloaded in climate data based in answer based only two data if you want to do any corrections in the file you can do other if you want to uh, add your own data you can add it here by converting it to as a csv file gamma separated value file you can otherwise you can copy this file and then you can paste in some other place and you can add the values here we, we data processing the climate I'll directly go to that place data processing climate data these two data is available I'll just copy and paste the data here this is a CSV file which is downloaded from the Princeton server from 1948 to 2010 the data will be available if you want to use this same satellite data with addition of other years you can edit this you can just copy and paste here have to change the year and values if you want any change in that value we can do ok these three things are the temperature precipitation and wind speed you can change you can reduce you can add any values here now you can browse that file and change the value the copy is there select that value will be available I added 2011 also you can check here yeah, the 2011 data is added like that you can change all data otherwise you can replace with your own observed data I am not going to change this is only basin data next I am going to add the hydrologic units like reservoirs, diversions, demand and sources 
you can now directly run the model and get the total run of evapotranspiration and area of the basin and sub basins uh, i will add after that i finally i will run the model just click left click and drag the reservoir and place it so downstream reservoir wire one like same click and drag and place it in the stream my to once you added data menu go to the supply and resources in the river first one is basin river the reservoir one you will be available and sub basin reservoir two will be available for reservoirs we have to add the data of physical constraints and operational constraints the physical data is storage capacity just uh, set the current account it will apply to all years at storage capacity i'll say 5 million meter cube and initial storage will be zero other if you want give any dead storage you can add it so initial r uh, if you want to add the initial storage and the volume elevation curve it is optional if you want to check the water levels at various simulation period we have to give the volume elevation curve if you don't want to check the elevation and storage in the reservoir you can skip this if you want you, you can give the elevation should be a uh, msl i uh, set the rl value 100 and use the tab to get the next row if you have values in excel sheet you can copy and paste in the first uh, first uh, cell it will be pasted in whole most of the reservoirs uh, elevation cast curve will be a parabola you can adjust and correct it for your convenient and also you have to check the only initial values and the top value storage capacity 5 so you have to stop at 5 i am using the rough value if you have the exact value you can use it and here only two things the basin area and the reservoir again you have to add the demand site just place the demand site it called d2 d1 it's a reference only you can place it anywhere that basin and out of basin it's a graphical representation only and to connect the demand we have to use the transmission link from reservoir to demand you can set the supply preference here so minimum value is 1 and maximum is 
if the preference is one is the first priority after supplying the water to the this demand that water will goes out of this basin okay further you want to add the demand value just right click on edit data i was directly go to the data there is sub base in one d1 and d2 here the water use there annual activity level annual water use rate and monthly variation you can use the annual water use rate like say 10 and you have to set the monthly variation the default variations will be set at here if you want you can edit here as a monthly time series is sorry sir 8 5 right like that you can set the variation should be a hundred yeah twenty forty sixty eighty ninety ninety five nine point five point five and zero okay this is the monthly variation stable value only these two things annual water use rate and a monthly variation you have to set for both i just leave it is as a default value and here i'll set so up to now we created the basin and uh, we have the default data for the basin and also i told about the uh, editing in the data and also added the reservoir and gave the basic data about physical constraints and operational constraint and the demand we set it up that you can add the return flow if you have any percentage of return flow sorry just drag and leave it in the demand and connect with the downstream river that's a return flow for that also we can set the values so water use annual activity level if we set the annual use rate based on the use rate it will trapped and after excess water will be go as a return flow into the downstream river uh, there is a return flow option is there from d2 the default value is 100% uh, it defines as zero return flow
here the point is explained should sum of 100 percent if you left it as a zero you don't get any return flow losses from system I'll just set it as the initial year base year would be 100 others you can change it the last one is sources any other sources from other uh, interlinking canals on a pumping station you can add uh, for that other supply option is there and also groundwater source is there can add and then you can connect with the transmission link these are the other sources except that a basin outflow by pumping or any interlinking channel that water is comes to that particular reservoir further also you can select and change the data in flows how much flow you are getting that would be added if you are the steady flow you can add a single value for all month otherwise if you have the flow pattern you can copy it in excel and you can directly place it as In this video I am not going very deep on individual component I just telling the what are the components you can add and the basic data required to do simulation uh, from that we can take uh, important results so we added a catchment reservoir demand site we can add more demands if there is any industrial or other demands is there you can add for that we can set the priority if it is 2 the water will first goes to the first priority and then it goes to the second priority if the water is not available for satisfy the both demand it will first satisfy the uh, first priority demand only now i will run the model and uh, extract the some basic results just click the results Here the result tab is there. First we go to the catchment. Here my area is there. Uh, table format. We only get selected yes. I'll just select one here. 
is a first basin area and the sub basin area the total area of the whole basin is 865 and you can change the units here and then next will be so precipitation as a precipitation for particular year you can go for all years and uh, monthly average so annual total for all years we can change the uh, column and row direction and we can export it as a excel file here the right side option is there so excel is there exporting to excel that will be exported as this file and then surface runoff this is a surface runoff value and uh, so the um, in reserve wires you can get the storage volume and storage elevation value store relation the chart you can see uh, we not used any exact value so it shows the full level uh, better I'll show the first year the first month is slightly s small after that it raised because maybe we'll set the low demand value uh, so it shows always the reserve wire is full and you can also export it as a excel file and so many outputs are there uh, based on our input we can get the more results if you add more data we can get the more results mm. There's a uh, output transpiration value. Okay, so annual total is there. We can get also monthly. The monthly data also gives the only monthly results only. Monthly average is annual. We can't do any daily basis. The so limitation of VEEP model is monthly simulation period and charts maps the map itself we can show that results S basin one with the area sorry et actual unmet demand there is zero unmet demand stream flow stream flow is 0.89 million cubic meter so stream flows reaches some um, sub base in reaches all values it will show in the next video I will explain about the all data about individual units and the, the operational concerns whatever you want to give that will be analyzed in the next video. Thank you.